I'm straight as Ramphel, but the, my world knows me as Sunny. So it's Sunny Ramphel. And I've lived now a global life, a long, longish global life. Uh, home is the Caribbean, but the world is my homeland. And uh, it's a troubling homeland now because we're threatened. Threatened essentially by ourselves. Uh, we have grown to what we think is conquering nature, but in the process we've made ourselves very vulnerable. And uh, that vulnerability spreads across a whole range of things. I sometimes think that the, the thing that most symbolizes our modern uh, status, our, our human prosperity, our human conquest, uh, is our greatest threat. Uh, and, and, and that is, that symbol uh, is carbon, that symbol is CO2, that, and all that goes with it, the transport, land, sea, air, electricity, everything else. Those symbols really, unless we are very careful, uh, the undoing of our civilization. And that is really very sad because again it's that same contradiction. The best thing about us is our civilization. The worst thing about our civilization is that we've come to believe that it's, uh, it's a part of us uh, and not an emanation from us. And so again what was good could be made very bad. And uh, the, the struggle of our generation is going to be to overcome these, uh, these vices that emerge out of our virtues. Uh, and carbon emissions is the biggest threat of them all, and most immediate threat. And I come from a country that uh, has a capacity to contribute to the alleviation of this, in that we are the, one of the world's uh, depositories of green things. Uh, and my generation, I think, has come to accept that that's not just a, a gift that's precious to us, that's a gift that's precious to the world. And we must be prepared to preserve it preserve it for the world. But the world must in turn recognize that it has to make that preservation possible. Because side by side with these gifts are other elements of life that are, that are not gifts. Poverty, underdevelopment. Uh, and they have to be dealt with as, as part of the process in which we share what was good. And the world helps us uh, to get away from what is not so good. Uh, and, and that is the genesis of uh, uh, a low carbon development strategy. Uh, uh, it, it, is, it is virtuous uh, in that we are sharing, uh, but it must be developed in a way that, that helps the country too. And uh, I think that is the process we are going. It takes, the, it takes some education. It took good leadership to develop uh, a low carbon development strategy. And uh, I think we've done, we've done well uh, in, in getting this far. Now the world must uh, play its part. Uh, we've had a very good partner in Norway, uh, for which I have a, a very special personal uh, 
sense of of appreciation and camaraderie and uh, Norway will I think deliver uh, we must make sure that global bureaucracy does not get in the way of good intentions uh, and we must we must work hard to overcome those bureaucratic tangles uh, but out of it I think the Guyana Norway low carbon development strategy can help to lead the world uh, into ways in which we can make a, a really significant contribution t uh, to the carbon problem. The low carbon development strategy ultimately is for Guyana uh, a new way of thinking about development. Uh, about thinking about development uh, in the preservation of those facets of our of our life uh, that can contribute uh, not to a, a worsening of the carbon situation but a, a betterment of it by preserving uh, the, the very substantial forests of Guyana which are really part of the greater uh, Amazonia and if Guyana can do that then it is making a, a significant contribution but it can only do that uh, if the contribution that the forests uh, could make to development and is being foregone is made up uh, by uh, in, 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 in practical ways financial inflows uh, that can support development. In our case, development of our coastal people, but development uh, also in a very major way of our indigenous people, of the, the first people of the Americas. And uh, so th there's a sense in which we can, we can, through the low carbon development strategy, uh, point the way to some important pathways for the future. And what message would you have for Canadians in terms of what role Canada might be able to play, uh, either in support of a low carbon development strategy or, or engaging in partnership with, with Well, Canada? we've developed this strategy with, with Norway, but Canada was for a long time a world leader in sustainable development. I'm sad to say it no longer is, uh, and I, I deplore the fact policy directions in Canada have changed but for me that is not a change in the hearts of Canadians uh, I make a distinction between Canada and the government of Canada uh, and Canada has always been good for the world my Canada I knew of Trent because I knew of Tom Simons uh, Way, way back, Tom was the Commonwealth's great educator, uh, and we worked very closely together. But he was, in the meanwhile, founding Trent. And in, in founding Trent, he has, he, has, he has made a great gift, not just to Canada, but to education worldwide, uh, and, and to a sense of oneness in our human family. Now that I've been here, and I've seen the resource itself. Uh, it has for me a, a very natural linkage to Guyana. Uh, and I'm glad that that process of linkage has in fact begun. Uh, and that the Trent-Guyana partnership uh, is in the making in the context of development. Uh, and nothing can inspire a population that is sometimes depressed uh, with the lack of, of progress than the assistance of friends who know. Bringing to their aid not necessarily money but, but people, but resources that are human and tangible and caring and the best of science which is, which is the kind of gift that Trent is ready to make 
to my country. Well, of course, I was here on this visit to Trent for a graduation ceremony. My, my own granddaughter, but a whole generation of granddaughters and sons. Uh, and I like to think that the message to them is the message of global citizenship. Uh, they're not just of Trent or of Canada, but of the world. Because the world is their country too. The planet is their country, even as Canada is. And even as Trent is their, is their home. But one of the great uh, manifestations of the trent Guyana partnership uh, has been the, the laboratory that uh, uh, Professor Suresh Narayan has established in the Institute of Applied Science and Technology in Guyana, uh, which to me and to most Guyanese uh, is a great leap into the future, uh, bringing very high level science uh, to the aid of development by making use of what most would have regarded as waste or of no good to development uh, and doing it in ways which are at once both the highest level of science and the lowest level of ordinariness. Uh, I had the pleasure to drive in a, in a vehicle uh, of Professor Narayan's in Guyana, um, powered by biofuel, biodiesel. Uh, biodiesel that uh, he has been able to generate. And, and if that Trent experiment, if that Institute of Applied Science and Technology is applied beyond the laboratory, beyond the, the startup stage, uh, and, and made productive across a wide area, then the contribution Trent, Trent would have made through him uh, to Guyana's development would be absolutely enormous.